Lesson 12.5, Line Plots. A line plot is a graph that shows the frequency of data along a number line. We can quickly see that 2 has the greatest amount. We've got a number line, and for each value, we put an X. We can see that 2 was the most popular answer. We can use a line plot to organize information to easily see quantities, especially if the information appears out of order or confusing to others. And before making our line plot, we should organize our information by listing the numbers in order from least to greatest. And we can make a tally table to do this. We first learned about tally tables back in third grade math in video 2.1, and that'll be linked in the description if you need it. But we'll do a real quick review right now. A tally table uses tally marks to record data. So if we have a list of these pets, we can say, okay, I see one cat, so we can circle it so that we know we made a tally mark, a dog, another dog, another dog, a cat, a dog, and then we have another dog. When we have four tally marks to mark the fifth dog, we cross the four tally marks. Then we can easily skip count our tally marks by fives. Tala has a bag of ribbon pieces that she has saved. For an art project, she wants to know how many ribbon pieces are longer than half of a foot. And we can use a line plot to solve the problem. So here's the length of her ribbons in feet. She has two-fourths feet, one-fourth, two-fourths, four-fourth, one-fourth again, three-fourths, another one-fourth, and another four-fourths. So we begin by putting the data into a tally table starting with the least amount, the one-fourth, going to the greatest amount, the four-fourths. We can make a tally table. We see she has a two-fourths, and two-fourths reduced is equal to one-half, isn't it? So we mark the two-fourths that we did it, and we put a tally mark for the two-fourths. We have a one-fourth. We have another two-fourths. We have a four-fourths. We have another one-fourth. We have a three-fourths. We have another one-fourth, we have a four-fourths again. So now we have our tally marks. We just put one tally mark for each ribbon length, and we cross a group of four to mark a fifth tally mark if we've got five. Now we can use the data from our tally table to make a line plot by putting an X above a number line for each value. We can see that one-fourth has three tally marks. We put three X's above the one-fourth on our number line. We can see two-fourths has two tally marks. We put two X's above the two-fourths. We see three-fourths only has one, so we put one X. And we see four-fourths has two, so we put two X's above the number line for four-fourths. And the number line is labeled from least to greatest. And we can write a title for the line plot. Tala had bags of ribbon pieces, so we could title this ribbon pieces in feet. Sorry about my messy handwriting. So how many ribbon pieces are longer than half of a foot? So remember, in order to be longer than a half of a foot, it can't be half of a foot, because then it would be the same. It needs to be longer. So we know two-fourths is equal to one-half. One-fourth is less. So that means to be longer than a half foot, we have one, two, three ribbon pieces that are longer than half foot. And what's the difference in length between the longest ribbon and the shortest ribbon? Well, the longest ribbon is four-fourths, and the shortest ribbon is one-fourth. Difference is the answer in subtraction, so four-fourths minus one-fourth. 
We have the same denominator, so we just subtract for the numerator. 4 minus 1 is equal to 3. The difference in length between the longest and shortest ribbons is 3 fourths of a foot. And which ribbon length does she have the least of? If we look at this line plot, we can easily see that 3 fourths is the least. It's telling us to use the data to make a line plot. It says distance students walk to school in kilometers. We have a 3 tenths, 4 tenths, 1 tenth, another 3 tenths, a 2 tenths, a 1 tenth again, another 1 tenth again, and a 2 tenths. So the first thing we do is order the data from least to greatest and make a tally table. We have a 3 tenths, but that's not the least. 4 tenths, look, 1 tenth would be the least, so that would be the first one. So we write 1 tenth in our first space on our tally table. Then I see a 2 tenths, that would be the next one. Then I see a 3 tenths, that would be the next one. And then I see a 4 tenths, and that would be the greatest. Now we can mark in the information into the tally table. We have a 3 tenths, put a tally mark. We have a 4 tenths, put a tally mark. We have a 1 tenth, put a tally mark. A 3 tenths, put a tally mark. A 2 tenths, put a tally mark. A 1 tenth again, put a tally mark. Another 1 tenth, put a tally mark. And a 2 tenths, put a tally mark. And I'm, I like to circle them or put a mark some way so that I know I already tally marked that one. And we plot an X above the number line for each data value that is labeled from least to greatest. So our number line starts with the least, one tenth, just like our tally table, and goes to the greatest, four tenths, just like the tally table. One tenth has three, so we're gonna put three X's. One, two, three. And it helps if you make the X's about the same size and stacked about the same amount so that our table, our number line looks even. We have two for two tenths. We have two for three tenths. And we have one for four tenths. We can easily see which one's greatest and which one's least. So most of the students walk blank kilometers to school we can see most of them walk one-tenth of a kilometer. And we can add data to the line plot by adding more X's. If there was another student that walked two-tenths, we could just put another X here. We need to write a title for our line plot. We can call it Distance Students Walk to School in Kilometers. Do you remember that KM is the abbreviation for kilometer? Now, why did we make a tally table and line plot if only the tally table can show us the amounts? Well, here's the difference. A tally table is great for organizing information. It can even have a column for the total amount of tally marks for that, that object. But a line plot shows us the data quicker, and it's easier for our eyes to see the least, the greatest, or the most common values. We can see that 0, 1, and 3 for the number of pets have the same amount of x's. Looking at the tally table, we might see that the 5 is sticking out. But this is easier on the eyes to immediately see that Having two pets is the most popular answer. We can use the data from a line plot to find how many students were counted in all. It says the students' favorite colors, and we've got red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, and pink, and the students in a classroom answered, and they put an X for each student. If we want to know how many students were in the class and how many answered the questionnaire, all we have to do is count up the X's. And we can see that the blue is the most favorite color and orange is the least favorite color. We have 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and four more is 24. So that means 24 students were asked their favorite color. And how many more students liked blue than orange? Well, blue is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and orange is only one. How many more students liked blue than orange? The difference between seven and one is six. The difference between the most amount and the least amount is six. And how many more students liked purple or pink than blue? Well, it says purple or pink, and we have five purple and four pink, so that's nine altogether. And blue has seven, so how many more liked purple or pink than nine than the blue seven? That would be two, wouldn't it? And we can easily see that blue is the most popular favorite color because it's got the most X's. And we can easily see that orange is the least. We can look at a line plot to determine which value is the least, greatest, or middle value. Here's students' pets. One person said they have a fish. Another student said they have a bird. And look, one, two, three, four, five students said they have a dog. Three students said they have a cat, and one said they have a turtle. So we can see the least. That would be a fish, bird, or turtle. We can see dogs are the greatest. We can see cats are the middle amount, aren't they? That's the middle value. It's in between one and five, so three is the middle value. And what is the difference between the greatest and least values? Where the least values are a one and the greatest is a five, Difference is the answer for subtraction, so the difference would be 5 minus 1. That would be 4. So even though there are more than 1 saying 1, we have fish, bird, and turtle, they're all still 1. That's still the least values. We just say 5 minus 1, okay? The amount of data values should be the amount of tally marks, which should be the amount of X's on our line plot. If we have our data as one-fourth, one-fourth, three-fourths, and two-fourths, that's four amounts. That means we're going to have four tally marks. It also means we're going to have four X's on our line plot. In our next lesson, 12.6, we're going to talk about metric units of length. We're going to compare decimeters and millimeters. I hope you have a really great day. Don't forget to hit the like button if you can, and I'll see you next time. Bye.